Hello, good morning. Uh, today's topic is anatomical terminology. This is from anatomy lessons. These are from biology as well as uh, anatomy physiology students. So uh, let's discuss about the anatomical terminology or what are the anatomical terms we used in anatomy. Yeah. Uh, I have uh, written in this slide that anatomical terms derived from ancient Greek. Okay. Yeah. One minute. Anatomical terms. Let me change the color. Okay. Anatomical terms. Derived from ancient Greek terms. Why we use Greek or Latin words also? Yeah, Latin words because these are dead languages we are not using in our day to day life. So there is no change in words or language because these languages are no longer used in everyday conversation and so the meaning of their words does not change. Uh, that's why many uh, scientists consider the Greek either. Uh, Greek or Latin words for naming new scientific uh, things or terminologies and many of the scientific terminologies are coming from this Greek and Latin words and second the anatomical terms are made up of roots the root of a terms or meaning of the terminology are made uh, from uh, came from, uh, come from Greek word and these words consist of roots, prefix, suffixes. Okay, the root terms, root of the of terms are often referred to an organ, tissue, or condition. Okay, whereas prefix, suffix often describes the roots. Mainly, ro uh, the word describes any organ, tissue, or any condition. These are uh, uh, this uh, one word consists of only a single word or uh, two words which are called prefix and suffix, and also this prefix and suffix dignifies the root of the word. For example, here, here I have written hypertension. You all know that hypertension is high BP. Okay, due to high BP, we um, suffer from hypertension. In uh, biology, high par h y p e r means more okay or high and hypo another is hypo which means less even hyper secretion of hormone or any body fluid hypo secretion of hormone or any body fluid that means more secretion and it is less secretion hyper means high or over secretion tension means pressure okay these two words for this hypertension okay. and also another thing the hyper yeah. hyper main yeah this is prefix okay prefix and the remaining this tension this is suffix okay. suffix so hypertension refers to abnormally high blood pressure okay. the uh, abnormally high blood pressure is defined as hypertension okay. uh, let's move to the yeah. I have uploaded also this from Google and these are some terminologies we frequently use in anatomy okay one is superior superior means upper okay? this person yeah and uh, opposite of the superior is inferior it means low okay? proximal proximal uh, is a term this is hand it is attached to the body a trunk the person who is attached to the body a trunk is known as proximal and the end point is called as distal distal point is never attached to any uh, body part it is free end and uh, last end of an organ and here 
this is lateral the side of human body or any animal is called as lateral and it as we know that human is bilaterally symmetrical that means if we cut the body from the central axis it will divided into two equal halves and this line is called as median line or median and after this here yeah, it is the side view the back portion is called as posterior okay or we can call it dorsal side yeah? and front portion is called as anterior or um, this is anterior dorsal side or ventral side we can call it ventral okay and lower planar this is dorsal side also and here superficial okay these are the uh, terms here upper portion is upper portion that is superior okay superior lower portion this is u inferior and back is dorsal front ventral okay these are the basic terms uh, dorsal is also called as you know, posterior and ventral is also called as anterior these are the things okay uh, okay uh, let's discuss more about this terminologies so these are uh, anatomical terminologies terminologies this and uh, the terms are directional okay either upper lower back or front directional terms first the anterior one okay i'm changing the ink anterior or ventral okay this is the if this is a human body okay i'm just uh, doing it is the rough diagram and this is hand and this front portion is called as anterior anterior or ventral okay it describes the front it describes the front towards the front uh, front uh, or direction towards the front of the body okay and the second one is okay second one is posterior okay
और डॉर्सल दिस पर्सन इज कॉल्ड पोस्टेरियर डॉर्सल इट इज द इट डिस्क्राइब्स द बैक और डिरेक्शन टू वर्ड्स द बैक ऑफ द बॉडी This is posterior portion. Now let's move to the next portion. Okay. Yeah, I'm using another slide here. Uh, the third terminology is after anterior and posterior. सुपेरियर और क्रानियल डिस्क्राइब द पोजिशन क्रानियल मीन क्रानियम कम्स फ्रॉम द वर्ड ब्रेन और ब्रेन बॉक्स ओके इट इज द टॉप मोस्ट पार्ट ओके डिस्क्राइब्स describes a position describes a position above or higher than another part of the body okay and number 4 is or inferior or caudal okay inferior or caudal it is the bottom part of the body describe the position if this is the human being this is the superior part sorry this is the superior portion and this one is caudal or inferior portion a uh, inferior in face we um, call the tail caudal tail uh, which helps in uh, movement of direction or changing the direction caudal means end or uh, inferior portion okay here yeah, we write it it describes describes a position below or lower than position below 
are lower than than another part of the body okay part of the body uh it is near or towards the tail near or towards the tail okay this and come to the fifth directional terminology lateral okay lateral side the two sides edges of the body yeah these are the lateral lateral describe side or directions it describes side or direction towards the edges okay of the body this is lateral one and inferior or caudal now let's move to the another one the sixth directional terminology here median okay medial here it describes describes the medial medial or direction direction towards the middle body okay middle body like this yeah and this median portion this this is medial okay now okay seven seven is here proximal okay proximal proximal is describes a position in a limb okay like hand leg describes a position in a limb that is near to the point of point of attachment or 
trunk of the body okay the body like here uh, this hand this person is attached to the trunk of the body this leg this is attached to the trunk of the body this is called as proximal end okay and the part which is away doesn't attach to the uh, trunk or body that is called as distal if i am doing it here and this part which is attached to the body that is called as proximal and this is called as distal mm -hmm. yeah. now come to the number eight number eight is distal here Describes a position in a limb. In a limb that is farther from. from the point of attachment okay or the trunk of the body or trunk of the body this one so let's move to this is the distal here i have already shown you now i am using another slide here there are another two terminologies are there a uh, nine a uh, superficial Super facial. Super facial. Yeah. It describes a position closer to the surface of the body. Okay. Describes a position. position closer to the surface of the body okay surface of the body for example yeah skin is superficial to the body okay superficial it describes the position closer to the surface of the body and skin is the longest organ of the body and uh, covers the body surface and now the tenth or deep here yeah, deep it describes the position position farther from the surface okay
from surface of the body it describes the position farther from not the surface of the body farther from the surface of the body uh, like example brain okay brain is deep in deep is deep to the skull into the skull or brain is located deep inside the skull these are the 10 terminologies here yeah. the first one is an anterior or ventral second one is posterior or dorsal and third one is sorry the anterior posterior and uh, one moment there is something here yes uh, third one is superior or cranial uh, fourth one is inferior caudal fifth one is lateral hmm. now the sixth one medial seventh one is posterior uh, proximal sorry proximal and eighth one is distal and uh, ninth one is superficial and tenth one is deep this is all about the anatomical terminologies i hope it is clear now thank you for watching okay and bye thank you for watching and bye